Hey YouTube, I'm gonna try some unprotected left turns with a, uh, a new perspective. I don't know why it's turning right here. It needs to stop. And it stopped pretty far out in the lane there. Yeah, now it should go. Let's see what it does. It's waiting on that car. It's pretty bright in here. Let's see if it goes now. It should go. It's gonna have to hurry, okay? It went. Clear in the left lane. It needs to stay in the left lane. All right, and it went. I decided to mount a uh, camera on the B pillar and I've got a drone flying that's uh, got a little bit of a third person view from above. Maybe you can see some relative speed of oncoming cars. Let's get a few more of these scenarios and see how they look. Okay, here's take two. It's got a right turn signal here, even though it's mapping a left turn signal. So I'm not sure what it's thinking with that. Now it's got a left turn signal. So it, it, it just changed its mind. Creeping for visibility. Let's see how we look here. A little bit slower creep than last time. It's got a little right turn going in and now it stopped. Okay, it's way clear to the left. Well clear. So maybe it's looking at traffic on the other side of the road, which makes sense if it doesn't want to go to the median. Let's see when it decides to go here. Not sure what it's waiting. Okay, it's going. Now it stopped because it can no longer make this clear left. Hopefully it okay, yeah. So it stopped there. It can't go now. There's quite a few cars coming. I'm just holding the wheel tightly in case it decides to go, because I'm pretty far across the line. Um, in this visualization, you can kind of see that. Hopefully the, the, the night view is working. All right, and there's a clearing coming here in about 10 seconds. Let's see how this looks. No, no, no. I don't know why it did that. I had to disengage. Um, it, I don't know why it started going. I mean, of all that waiting, it decided right at the last minute to scoot out even further into the lane. Uh, so that was a little interesting that it waited so long and then it decides to jump out. Huh. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, here we go again. See if we can get it set up. Autopilot pause, waiting for our turn, checking for visibility. Okay, I'm looking out. Okay, it's not clear, it's not clear. Oh, okay, it stopped. Feels like it's pretty far out there, but I think it's definitely okay. Okay, there's a tiny gap here that it cannot make. It should not go. Do not go, do not go. It's creeping a little bit more. These cars are actually going around me. I don't know if you can see this. Maybe from the drone view you can. They're actually weaving away from me in the lane. Okay, the left lane is open, but the right two are definitely full and there's an enormous truck coming, cement truck. And it'll be interesting to see if he has to weave around me. I feel like I'm sticking out, but no, it wasn't that close, but still. Okay, there's a little gap here. Okay, there's another little gap that I would go for. I don't know if the car's gonna try. Okay, it's too late now. Okay, okay, there's two cars remaining and then it can go. But interesting, this truck is coming off the median that is now in the way, so it has to wait on him now. Okay, now it's wide open on the left lane, so now it's just the right lane. So, is it gonna wait? Okay, now I'm in the road and it cannot go into the left lane over here. 
Okay, I had to stop. I don't know, it doesn't even have the right angle here in the median. Now the rear of my car is sticking out and I'm gonna have to go ahead and... So it needed to do a little 90 degree angle thing there in the median. I'm not sure where it was going. Um, it was uncomfortable anyway at that angle to continue and creep. It needed to be at a, at a tighter angle. All right, my drone battery might have uh, maybe one or two more. Hopefully uh, we can get those in. Okay, probably the last one on the drone battery. Hopefully it auto lands okay. We've got an interesting scenario here where I've got a car in the median over there that it needs to yield to. Checking for visibility. It cannot go ahead of that car. That car has the right of way. Creeping forward, checking for visibility. Okay, that car is now clear. I can't see yet, so I don't think the car can see. I'm, I'm leaning as far forward as I can, so I don't know if it thinks it can see or not. Okay, creep, no, no, okay. No, it cannot go, it needs to stop. All right, it's pretty far out there though. Okay, it should have decent visibility now. If it goes now, it's gonna have to punch it. Go, don't stop, don't stop, keep going, keep going. Very slow, if it stays in the left lane, it'll work. Okay, so maybe that's a good one to end on. It, it, it got there. I don't like the way it pauses in the middle of the lane with oncoming traffic. I, fortunately in that scenario, I had enough room to let it go. Um, but I would not have done that as a driver. Anyway, so let's see if the drone perspective gives us a, a different perspective on oncoming traffic and perhaps the visibility and how far the uh, nose of the car sticks out into traffic. I'm hoping you can see the way the uh, oncoming traffic was actually having to weave away from me a little bit because that's one of the concerns I've been. Even if you're on the edge of the road, when an oncoming car sees you, they kind of want to weave around you a little bit, which is okay as long as you're not actually in the lane. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think below. Hopefully the film footage worked. And uh, leave the comments in the section. Let's have a discussion. Have a great day.